The Tennessee Titans head to the nation's capital to face the Washington Redskins on Sunday. The Redskins, a five and a half point favorite on bet deck. 46 is the total in this game. Let's face it, these are two bad teams. This should be an ugly game. These two teams, a combined record of three and nine. They're just three, eight and one against the spread. The Titans, 29th in points scored. They are terrible offensively, 23rd in points allowed. The Redskins, 22nd in points scored, 27th in points allowed. So really nothing to like about either one of these teams. I guess the Redskins, at least they move the ball. They're seventh in the NFL in total offense, meaning yards per game. So they haven't had much trouble moving it up and down the field. They have had problems turning that into points. A lot of that has to do with the fact that their quarterback, Kirk Cousins, has had some real turnover issues these last few weeks. Cousins, an interception machine right now. And he'll be facing a Tennessee team that has a decent secondary. Now, the Titans secondary has not played as well in recent weeks as they did over the first two or three weeks of the season. But still, that is the strength of this Tennessee defense. So Cousins really going to have to take care of the ball in this matchup. Now, as far as the Titans offense goes, we do not know who will be playing quarterback for them. Jake Lockers missed the last couple of games with a hand injury. He's officially listed as questionable this week. If he can't go, Charlie Whitehurst will get another start. To be honest with you, at this point, I'm not sure if it makes much of a difference. The Titans offense looks about the same with Whitehurst under center as they did with Jake Locker under center. Locker, after all, has been very inconsistent throughout his NFL career, and he hasn't been in there for a couple of weeks. Who knows if a cold Jake Locker would be better or worse than Charlie Whitehurst at this point. Again, you cannot rely on this Tennessee offense. 29th in points scored. They're averaging fewer than 18 per game. And Washington's defense, pretty much the same story as their offense. We mentioned the Redskins offense. They can move the ball. They just can't convert it into points. Same deal with the Washington defense. They've been able to get some teams off the field this season at times. They're 10th in total defense, meaning yards allowed. But again, 27th in points allowed. So not doing a good job in red zone defense, not doing a good job keeping opposing offenses out of the end zone. Tough to have a lot of faith in either one of these teams. I guess the fact that the game is in Washington and the Redskins have had more success moving the ball and stopping opposing offenses from moving the ball, I guess that gives me a slight lean in the Washington direction here. I do expect the Redskins to win this game. I do not feel comfortable laying five and a half points. So if you are going to back Washington, I would recommend a money line bet. I say just bite the bullet and bet on the money line. If you must, though, I guess I like Washington minus five and a half more than I like Tennessee plus five and a half. But this certainly not one of my favorite games of the week.